Yo, what's up? If you meant to click on an original Grow and Be video, then you have done at least one successful thing in your lifetime. If you didn't mean to click on an original Grow and Be video, then don't click off. I think I have a little something that's going to interest you. Now, let me dive right into this. I'm not going to do my usual rant about something random before getting into the topic, and I'm not going to do my usual rant about ranting about something random before getting into my topic. But, however, I will do my brief little recap of the game before I actually talk about what I'm going to talk about. So the, in this video, I go 24 and 2. Um, this is probably one of my stealthiest, less rush, crazy rush. Now, I, I usually crazy rush. Now, I don't think, I think there's different types of rushing. One's not super crazy, and one's kind of a stealth type rush. I make great choices. Uh, I didn't just go out there, you know, running and gunning all crazy. Uh, I do some crazy stuff, but you know, I play more calmly and more intelligently in this game And I think that's why I was able to have a quote-unquote good game and With that let me dive into the topic You know this used to be considered a good game 24 and 2 used to be considered something good, but now um, With all these different Moab triple Moab quad Moab shit going on, you know these games kind of seem like little average games, and I am very happy about that. I am so glad that I am not a really, really, really great pay player. Not paper. Why would I be paper? <laughs> great player who, you know, dominates every game, has a 4.0 KDR. I am happy about that. And the reason why is because if I were to become that great at the game, I would not have fun on it. It wouldn't be fun anymore. Video games, to me, are about the challenge, about, you know, the message or the story, usually, when it comes to an RPG game, but if I'm going to play a game, it's because I want to have fun, I want to have a little bit of challenge, and ultimately, but at the end of the day, I just want to have fun. So, if I'm go sitting here constantly dominating, if I went 24 and 2 every single game, none of that excitement would come behind when 24 and 2 and it would then be, huh, the usual 24 and 2, you know, like, it would become so, you know, predictable that I wouldn't be able to have fun with it anymore. And that's the reason why I'm glad that I'm just an average Call of Duty player, since this is the majority of what goes on my channel until some greater games start coming out. I'm glad I'm not that good at it. I'm always going to have some fun, great story to tell about how, you know, I, I, I liked how I did in this specific game. And... It'll be more than just me always doing good, always, all the time. I, I upload some good gameplays, but I try to upload some regular old gameplays, you know, if, if there was something behind it that I wanted to tell y'all about. And that's what I really enjoy about playing video games, because I'm not the best, I'm not the worst, there's always room for me to improve somehow, some way. That's how I'm not able, I'm, I'm not getting caught up in the whole nothing but Moab YouTube. Golly, I feel like Modern Warfare 3 has been destroyed because commentators do nothing but post Moabs now. And that's pretty sad to me. You know, I, it, it makes me feel like I'm watching the exact same thing over and over and over. And that's why recently I've been looking more towards commentaries than gameplay because I feel like I'm watching the same thing over and over and over and over. So on the commentator note, I feel like, you know, with all these different, um, you know, companies and, and, and communities, you know, creating partnerships and, and directorships and people are starting to get paid just to play video games now, I feel like um, if you're going to get paid, dude, you better be good. You better be able to create something amazing. You better be able to get a quad Moab if somebody's going to pay you money to do it. Um, I feel like if I got paid and all I had to do was just get on here and just be real hardcore gamer, yeah, I'd be noob tubing, yeah, I'd be mp 7 ing I'd be acr -ing. <laughs> you know, I'd have those FMG9s out in the hot second if you're going to pay me some money to do it. And that's where I feel like gaming has gone downhill. When I hear paid and gaming, I don't think, wow, paid to game? I think, wow paid to game I mean I understand when you when you're doing commentaries and you're bringing people something amazing you know cool but at the same time when it gets to the level 
the level where people are playing games that they don't like just so they can get views and, and, and continue to contract revenue, that is where it gets terrible. For instance, MLC stuff, that guy is one of the best players I've ever seen play the game. Um, guy, he's gotten a MOAB with like every single gun, like a double MOAB with like every single gun, and um, even the shitty guns. And I, and of course, like everyone else, he did usually played in a domination match. There was a little bit of spawn trapping involved, but I consider him a legit player. But he dropped him out of Warfare 3. He doesn't touch it. He dropped it. I, and one is because, you know, he was he was good to the point where you know it wasn't fun to him anymore. So he just started playing other games, and all of a sudden, like he posted in one of his videos, all his views started going down. His his subscriber count on the weekly basis went down, and that's pretty shameful. But it is what it is. So I commend him because he doesn't have to play. He's not gonna play a game that he doesn't like just because it gets him views. And not a lot of people believe in that. A lot of people play games that they don't like because they're good at the world and it contracts them views. And that's a very, very sad thing. And that's why recently I was really happy and proud of some girl who was creating videos because she was doing great commentaries and it wasn't all about the gameplay. So I'm glad that I'm not that amazing because I don't have to deal with all that. So, this is the original Grown B, and if you thought to yourself, you know what, this guy might be right, then hit that subscribe button, and Grown B will see y'all later.